All right, it's pretty empty in here. So, Magic, let me in. Show me what's going on. This ice machine is having a leak. So, let's see what we can find here. You can see where, where it's leaking at. All right, so we got an isomatic ice machine. Got some food bin. So it's not running right now, but you can see there's a water leak on it, they said, and it looks like to be the culprit right there. There's my bin drain. Doesn't look like that's clogged. You can see where the where the water has been dripping down. So let me try to trace that out, see what we can find. coil I might I might give that a brushing let's see where where this water is coming from hmm That's interesting. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna need two hands. Let me try to pinpoint this. Let me bring it right back. All right, I got the unit moved out a little bit. Got plenty of slack, but you can see in this fitting right here is a little leak. I just turned the valve off, but it was actually still dripping. And then my main, seems like I have a bit, pretty big leak. I don't know if you can see it in there. A little bit. But it's right behind there. It's just kind of puddled up. So I just need to get a, get a way to get in there. So let me find out how to get good access in there and uh, see if I can tighten that fitting up. All right, so I'm just uh, taking the ice out to get access to that side of the unit. You can't take the back off from what I'm told um, from Isomatic. I talked to tech support. They said to clear all the ice out. There's some screws back there. You take those out and you slide the bin forward and it'll, all the electrical compartment, all that will stay intact and it'll just pull the bin out so I could get, get back there. So, that's what I'm doing. Spend a few minutes doing this. All right guys, I got all the ice out and um, from what they're telling tech support, this whole bin should just slide right out. That way I could get good access under there and see where, uh, See where it's leaking at. I almost forgot to mention this uh this drain fitting has to come out too. So I got the screw out. Should be able to just lift this and pull it out. All right, well, that was interesting. So, let's see where we can find our culprit.
that might be right there. Let me uh let me get a better look at it. Bring it back around. All right, so I took this apart. It's a little dirty, but it doesn't look too clogged. But there's just so much gunk under there, and it's all building up right there. So what I'm gonna do is flush water down in there and make sure that's draining. And then I'll probably end up, yeah, that's kind of pinched. There's plenty of slack in this, so I'll probably just cut it, cut it back a little bit. Dry fit it in there for now, just so I can make sure that's draining right. Um, and then go from there. Don't see any there. All right, so I cleaned it up a little bit. Been flushing water through, and seems to be doing the trick. So, oh. so this is kinked, going right there in the outlet. Um, so she's definitely draining now, not leaking. So what I'm gonna do now is put it all back together and then I'm gonna spray inside the bin and then wash it again make sure there's no drips and then also I'm gonna put this uh, 5 16 clamp back on there all right now it's time to address this before I put it back see I have the water valve on now so now you can see a little bit of drip I'm gonna need two hands let me put the camera down and Fix that real quick. All I did was take it apart, put it back together with some more dope. Some more pipe dope. All right, fellas. Put it all back together. Fix the leak. Appreciate y'all watching. And that's it for this one.